Post-game highlights are brought to you by Farmburgessa. Stop by Farmburgessa in Vinton for delicious farm-to-table burgers, or check out their second location in Grandin Village. Season's greetings from Berglund Center in Roanoke, Virginia for another installment of the 2021-2022 SPHL season as the Star City gears up for Christmas in less than 36 hours. Roanoke hockey fans are hoping that the Rail Yard Dogs will be on the nice list this year and that tonight they'll be able to gift the visiting Fayetteville Marksman a lump of coal in this Thursday evening matchup in Roanoke. Two marksmen are into each other. That's Noski and Farrell. Deflected up into the air. Jones got a shot. Then it popped back out to Jansen. By Renault. Huge hit by Josh Ninadol. Sent McNair spinning down to the ice. It's Renault now into Roanoke territory. He shoots from the near side boards way out, but it does force Rodebush to make the catch. At the top of the hash is scored Tanner Fraze. Power play goal for Fayetteville. Big hit near side boards is Ford. And that ends the first period. Fayetteville up one to nothing on a power play goal by Tanner Fraze. Roanoke down one to nothing to visiting Fayetteville. Throws in front to Jansen, back to Jones. Jones put it on the wrong side of the post. McCartney and Sherwood, two on one. McCartney on the right wing dot. Throws it across to Sherwood, saved by Pulaski. Armstrong playing it around the horn, finds Ninadal in behind. Now Hepner's shot, he scores! Brady Hepner ties it up. 8.57 remaining in the second period. Josh Ninadal from behind the fan mill net feeds it to the lefty Hepner, and he snaps it home. Bluff side on Jason Pulaski. the end of the second period. I wouldn't be surprised if we got some people mixing it up as Mac Jansen went flying into the Fayetteville goal. One to one your score after two periods. Roanoke and Fayetteville all tied up. Now Noski skating through, cross right in front of the crease and it's scored by Farrell. Back to Alexi Gerard, his shot deflecting right back down in front of the Roanoke net and FX Gerard cleans it up for the goal. Armstrong does it in front. Jones has a shot. He scores! Nick Ford tapping it in front to Jeff Jones, and it's 3 to 2 with 5.31 to go in the third period. Armstrong and Ford will get assists, and that's goal number 48 in Jeff Jones' career, which ties Steve Mealy's all time goal scoring record in franchise history. Stubbs in the slot to the far side goal line. Sends it in. Hepner shot. He scores! Brady Hepner ties it up with a minute 29 to go. 3-3. Three to three, An empty net goal for Roanoke. And they're still alive at Berglund Center. Second goal of the night for number 19, Brady Hepner. Three periods, not enough as Rono gets two in the final six and a half minutes to force overtime. Armstrong back to DeVito, throw it in front. Stubbs had a chance. CJ Stubbs scores! Rono wins in overtime for the first time this season. CJ Stubbs, the game.
game winner. The Dogs win it four to three over the Marksmen. Three goals in the final six and a half minutes of the third period moving into overtime. And at 2.59 in overtime, the Dogs cap off the comeback. What a finish in Roanoke. And your final score, Roanoke 4, Fayetteville 3. These were your post-game highlights brought to you by Farm Burgessa. Be sure to check out Farm Burgessa in Vinton for delicious farm-to-table burgers or stop by their second location in Grandin Village.